Now, the music generally referred to today as rock grew out of blues and rhythm and exploded on the U.S. national scene in the mid-1950s. Well, one of the musicians who helped define the style was saxophone player Grady Gaines, who toured with such stars as Little Richard, Sam Cooke, Fats Domino, and many others. As viewers Greg Flakers reports from Houston, Gaines tells his story in a new book that is really out there. During the wild early years of rock and roll, Little Richard was king and sax player Grady Gaines was on top of the world as well as Little Richard's piano. As shown in this scene from the 1956 film Don't Knock the Rock on YouTube, white teenagers loved the music and that helped break down racial barriers. But Gaines says the musicians did not fully appreciate their impact. We didn't know that it was going to be rock and roll because we all thought we were doing rhythm and blues. Gaines credits Little Richard and his flamboyant style for what happened. He actually is the first one who created the rock and roll stuff and Richard, Little Richard is. Yeah, funny jokes to tell. He always has something exciting to make you laugh. To be around him, it, it, your whole spirit get lifted because he was that type of guy. But in his new autobiography, Gaines tells how Little Richard quit performing at the height of his fame to become a minister. Elvis Presley then became king, and Grady Gaines went on to play with Sam Cooke, who had a different style. I play with Sam Cooke, it would be mellow and I would try to make my band sound a fit Sam Crook style. Gaines later played with a long list of stars and returned to Houston where he continues to perform with his own band. He's also promoting his book I've Been Out There along with co-author Rod Evans who helped him tell his story. I went to Grady's house and I just sat down with a tape recorder and after researching his life came up with a bunch of questions to ask him about different segments of his life. Well, I, I tried to tell them all in that book as much as I could, uh, as much as I could remember. And, and every time I read that book, it's just like me reliving my life over again. One regret, says Rod Evans, is that he was not able to interview Little Richard. Initially, we, I thought I was going to be able to get him into the book and talk to him about bringing Grady into his band, but his health just declined to the point that he just really wasn't up to doing it. At the age of 81, Grady Gaines keeps playing, mostly for private parties, and fans, young and old, marvel at this living legend of rock and roll. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston. Well, and on that note, we end our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight, at 1800 UTC and in the mornings to Daybreak Africa between, uh, between 0300 and 0600 UTC Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching from all of us in Washington. Have a good night.